My name is John, and this is my aha moment. Well, we work in Oyugas, Kenya, uh, in the Yanza district of Kenya, the poorest district. And my background in education is in farming and ministry. And when I was there visiting and helping build a couple of churches that we started with, I began to notice their crops and saw that there were nothing but weeds and corn was very different heights and they were not getting much production. So Hearts for Kenya began to do a program with them. We supplied them with bulls, plows and chains so they could plow their fields. And then we gave them seed and fertilizer to uh, plant their crops. Our first goal was to allow them to be able to feed themselves. They were not able to at this particular point in time. So when, uh, when we were visiting one year, a uh, little old lady, most of the farmers in Kenya are ladies, uh, called us over and wanted to thank us, uh, Hearts for Kenya and all the people that donated, uh, because through this program she was finally able to feed our children every day. It was a wonderful moment because that's obviously what one of our goals was, um, but it was also a very heartbreaking moment because um, there are thousands more in that area that uh, that we've not been able to help yet and our our first goal with these hundred farmers we have accomplished our second goal is to form a co-op with them and that has been done through the government and we're now in the process of trying to uh, make these hundred farmers um, self-sufficient and adding a hundred farmers over the next five years and our overall goal is to have these 200 farmers self-sufficient um, before that five years is over. To see the hope now in their eyes that there is a possibility that they can get out of this and that they can become self-sufficient um, is a, a good moment for me.